this is what you're gonna get right out of the box. Not only is the default foam face shield not the most comfortable for long use, but it is also made out of this foam material. It gets hot as you play and it soaks up all the oil and sweat from your face, which by the way, is what causes breakouts and acne on your skin. So if you share a VR headset with your friends or your family, this can get gross really fast. So I would only recommend that you stick with this original one if you're using the VR by yourself and you're playing it very casually and lightly. Luckily, there are alternatives. You use VR for fitness or use VR for working out with games such as Supernatural or FitXR. Or if you're playing physically active games for about an hour, such as Beat Saber or Pistol Whip, then you're going to want this silicone face cover. This is the most hygienic VR face shield of all the options that I mentioned in this video. This silicone VR cover is soft and made of a silicone material. You place it over the original foam face shield and since it is a silicone material, it absorbs nothing. The sweat will literally just gather on the surface and start dripping down your face, so make sure you have a towel nearby. And I want to point out that the headset may start fogging up if you're sweating a lot since the silicone cover has minimal breathability. Now to clean, it is extremely easy. If you're feeling lazy, you can just wipe the silicone cover with a wet cloth. However, this can still cause breakouts. If you want to do a proper deep clean, you can remove the silicone cover from the headset and then gently wash it with soap and water in the sink and then pat dry. The third option is what most people will be using a majority of the time and this is a hybrid between the original foam face shield and the silicone cover. This last one is called a VR cover developed by, you guessed it, VR cover and it is made out of the soft plush material and to use it you will completely replace the foam face cover this is made out of an artificial leather that is not porous like the foam face cover this means that it doesn't absorb nearly as much sweat or fluids and it is easier to clean than the default foam option this Face shield has the same amount of breathability as the original foam one, meaning it won't make you as sweaty as the silicone cover. And since it's soft and fluffy, it also will be very comfortable for an extended use. To clean, you can wipe it with a clean, damp cloth. Otherwise, if you want to do a deeper clean, you can remove the interface completely from the headset and lightly wash it in the sink using soap and cool water. Now, the key word here is lightly. The VR cover isn't waterproof like the silicone cover, so you can definitely ruin it by drowning it in water or washing it aggressively while it's wet. Also, since it has that plush material inside, it will take a bit longer to dry, so you might need to hang it to dry overnight. The VR cover uses a nose guard, which reduces the amount of light leaking in from under your eyes, making VR that much more immersive. To sum it up, the silicone cover is the most hygienic and the VR cover is the most comfortable. I recommend you save this video to your watch later for future reference.